Well, hello, my lovely Prudy makers. I honestly, I'm starting to regret now calling it the Prudy challenge because it's actually not the easiest thing to say. <laughs> but anyway, you are most welcome. I wanted to come on and do this quick live for you in our group because we are kicking off our five day Prudy challenge on Monday. So it's gonna be five days of taking these Prudy's. Hello, oh Sadie, hello, how are you? Um, and Caroline's on too. So you need to get yourselves ready, okay? This is why I opened it up early. I have given you the wealth of information. I can't do any more, I can't. Well, apart from maybe do this live to help you to figure out what you need to do to get ready, okay? So you need to go buy some stuff. You need to figure out, have you got the equipment? Have you got the protein? Have you got the lovely stuff to put inside? So I'm gonna help you make some decisions today and help you figure out what it is that you want and let you know that some of these things can take five to seven days to get to you. So you need to be on it like a car bonnet right now. You do, come on, you do. So first of all, in order to make prudies, you need a prudy making machine. Do you have a prudy making machine? So a smoothie maker, this is the one that I have here that I wanted to show you, which is the Breville Active Blend. And it comes with the little thing that screws in. Oh, and this is in the wash maybe it comes like that and you make it and it's really easy you'll have seen that I actually shared a link to buy it off, off of the Amazon um, in this group for like 20 quid I think you can get something like it in Tesco I personally only get this one and for one reason and one reason only it is the cleanest easiest thing to make it's so clean because you just rinse it out when you use it you're, you're not using a blender and then sticking it into a bottle or sticking it into a cup you can take it with you and ladies we're all about trying to make this super easy super quick you can do this but also it fits in most cup holders okay that is a big consideration I do love a neutral bullet do not get me wrong I have a neutral bullet at home but it does not fit for taking it out of the house okay if you it's really hard to drink it the lids really hard to you know unscrew it whereas this one's a nice easy top to drink from as you can see here really easy to drink from okie dokie so go out if you don't already have one get yourself one of those it's the cheapest that I can find for what it does I love it you will love it too then you need to think about your actual, what you're putting in the bloodman's the peruvi. Where's the protein? Hello, Claire. Where's the protein? Are you getting the protein? You need to get the protein. So two ways to get your protein uh, that I recommend. Now I have researched this. Yes, I do make commissions. I am a brand ambassador for both of these products, but I went and found them to be the brand ambassador. They didn't ask me, okay? Yes, I do make a little bit of commission of what you buy, but not enough. So I'm not living off it, ladies. So if you go and choose something else, that's perfectly okay with me. But this is the ones that I have researched. This is the one that I personally take. I've taken both of these products, one of them for the last 10 years, the other one for the last about two years. Um, a majority of my ladies consume either one of these two things or have consumed them over the time. I can 100% attest that I have done the research. I have spoken directly to the manufacturers. I have spoken directly and know the ingredients that go in each and every single one of those. Can you say the same for the things that you buy out of boots, that you buy out of supermarkets? No. So I have done that work for you. You can believe me or not believe me. I don't mind. But this is about me helping you as much as I can with what I know to be true. And that's why I recommend them. Okay? So that's, that's why I sound, I'm so passionate so passionate about these both two pr products okay so the two that I would suggest are juice plus complete okay um, which is more of a superfood meal replacement I'm going to go into that in more detail or protein marks uh, raw vegan protein okay two different products two different products do two different things it's really up to you which one you want to buy it will be dependent on what you use it for and what your thoughts are what your overall goal is with this prove the challenge if you don't know what your goal is maybe have a think about your goal um, and also your budget because obviously there is an investment for each each of these so let me talk to you about this one so juice plus complete comes in big patches a uh, pa pouches and little baby um, sachets as well okay what's really good about that is that fits in your handbag ladies again we're all about making things super easy um, you can even get a little shaky shaky thing with a bowl and you can make it up on the go this one's actually nice when made up on the go do not make this one up on the go and I'm going to talk to you about this in <laughs> but this one is really good to stick in your handbag if you know you have the extra funds you can buy one of these for the office or you can take it into the office and make your smoothie up when you get there it, you know, for 20 quid, it's really not that bad. You can even stick that in your handbag, okay? My handbag's huge. <laughs> so, 
There you are, chocolate, vanilla. Only comes in two flavors. Why would you choose this one over this one? Is these taste really, really good, okay? They literally taste so good that your kids will drink them. You'll have to fend them off. Um, they are a complete meal replacement, so they work as a meal replacement for breakfast. All you would need to do is add a little bit of healthy fat in there, some flax seeds, some chia seeds, and you've got a full round complete meal. You've got complex carbs, you've got plant-based proteins. There's nearly 20 grams, not quite. By the time you've added some peanut butter, some chia seeds, your almond or soy milk, you'll pretty much be up to the 30 grams, okay? Which is, this is our rule for our, 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 our morning smoothies, is about 30 grams of protein. So you'll get there by adding stuff to it and I do recommend that you add stuff to it because it will keep you um, less hungry it'll stave off hunger for longer the protein in itself is going to help you to decrease those carb cravings and sugary cravings um, and also this just tastes good so it actually feels like you're doing something nice for yourself you drink it you're like oh it honestly works there's a wonderful feel good factor about this product it also comes in a vanilla which is really versatile you can add more fruit and stuff in that um, but as I said that is the way that that works it comes with its own scooper it will take about five days to to come to you so you need to order it now if you're thinking about it that's what you need to do okay so why would you choose this one over that one so this one uh, is from the protein marks now this is the biggest this is the 2k one this is about 30 quid 30 35 quid I think maybe a little bit more um, so why you would choose this this gives you in one scoop which is a very similar size scoop actually uh, one um, scoop gives you 25 let me give you the exact amount 25 uh, gram serving gives you 24.1 grams of protein okay but it also gives you zero carbs so for my ladies who follow the carb cycling formula that I advocate um, if you don't know what carb cycling is you can find out lots of information on my page or you can PM me about it or comment below and I'll tell you uh, but carb cycling is where some days you reduce your carbs. This is what this is used for. This is why I even went out and sought this product because I was looking for a, a protein supplement that was vegan, very important, um, that didn't have any carbs in it so that I could supplement on low carb days. Um, what else is good about it is that for the price for just protein, it's really good, well, well priced. I've also negotiated that your first purchase if you spend 10 pounds or more, you can get a free pouch and you also get, I think, up to 30% discount across the product. So the first time you buy it, you can get quite a bit. The downsides are it's £2.95, nope, £3.95 each time you get it delivered, which bumps up the price a little bit. You have to physically go and order it each time. Um, you only get how much you order, if that makes sense. And the downside, I have to say, is the taste. Now, I've done my best to find the nicest tasting just protein powder on its own. This is for protein shakes, post-workout shakes. You can also use it. I use it sometimes in conjunction together um, in my morning proothies, but the taste of it is a bit, it, it's, it's flavored with stevia. So it doesn't have any junk sweeteners, which is amazing. Either does the Juice Plus, it doesn't have any junk sweeteners. There's no aspartame, no sucralose, none of those junky things but it, they have added stevia to give you the taste, so you're gonna get that stevia taste. Um, if you've never had something sweetened by stevia, if you're used to drinking Diet Coke and stuff all the time, this will be fine, but it does have, it's not as nice tasting, okay? So if you're a really fussy fuss pot, and we all are in some degrees, um, you know, we like things to taste good, we like things to be nice and tasty, then this one might not be for you, okay? So that's the, if anything, the two main differences are this one's a meal replacement, um, tastes amazing, makes the best proovies, not gonna lie. This one gives you the protein that you need. You can get an unflavored one and you could also add that into stews and curries to also boost protein, especially if you're a vegan or a vegetarian. I know a lot of people who, who do that. The flavors that it comes in are millions. There's like seven or eight or something ridiculous. The ones that we advocate, if you're just gonna mix it up with water on its own for a post-workout, then um, chalk mint is really good. If you're not a minty person, don't go for that one. Um, the strawberry, strawberries and cream isn't bad. Again, it's better, water, more water or mix with a little bit of almond milk you can add a wee bit of banana or a wee bit of strawberries into this one and then it starts to taste okay um, there's also chalk silk which on its own does not taste great 
add in some peanut butter and ta-da, it can taste okay. And the vanilla cream, which sometimes I mix into porridge and stuff like that too. So you can get used to it. It is more of an acquired taste, but again, it's about getting that protein. Protein, protein, protein. That's why it's called the Protein Works and that's why I advocate that one. So those are the two that I recommend. If you are not going to buy any of those, that's perfectly okay. Here are my recommendations of how, in fact, I've even gone and created a post for you of are all Proovies created equal, what are the difference between different protein shakes, etc., and why you should choose one over the other. But here are some tips for you. One, if you're going for a protein powder specifically, avoid whey protein, especially if you're a lady and you're a lady in your post 35, 40s, okay? It's because whey is a, a byproduct of cheese uh, and dairy specifically for females has been known to increase systemic inflammation. What does that mean? It means that you are basically inflamed from the inside. Um, your body is more um, acidic and therefore if weight loss is a goal, you will find it harder. You're more likely bloated. It can also mess with your digestive system, which means you're not actually even absorbing all those wonderful nutrients all of those sorts of things. So say, no way to whey is what I always say. So you wanna stay away from the whey products, okay? You don't have to be a vegan to stay away from whey, you just need to. What about cassian? Yeah, I'm gonna say the same about that. Um, not a big fa fan of that either, because again, it's just a, another whey uh, byproduct, okay? It's a cheese milky byproduct. Uh, you just don't need it, okay? It's not necessary for protein uh, supplementation, okay? So I'm all about what is necessary, what's not necessary, what's the bare minimum, what's the easiest way, what's the most effective way, and vegan all the way. Now, you're all gonna have a conversation with me about soy, aren't you? So here we go, well, let's talk about soy, why not? Um, soy, specifically in the UK and Europe, is a very strong alternative for plant-based uh, eaters, okay, for plant-based lifestylers. You don't have to be vegan to be plant-based, you just need to be turning more to more plants and um, your source of uh, sustenance from plants. Soy products are just a soybean, a soybean, and stuff done to the soybean, whether it be uh, blended, it be soaked, whether it be made into the curd of a soybean, that's all tofu is, is the curd of soybeans, okay? So the reason why, and this is what I want you to ask yourself, and I'm not getting all conspiracy theory, just a little bit conspiracy theory, but who stands to gain from soy products being completely ditched if that is the major alternative for vegans and vegetarians who no longer consume animal products? Ask yourself. I know that I know to be true and I know specific of the contents of this product. I work with a lot of vegans, a lot of vegan athletes. I work with a lot of vegan advocates and vegan ambassadors. Um, soy specifically is the best alternative and also the best way to get your protein content. It is also more absorbed by the body. You will only find maybe one in 20 people, maybe one in 30 that have a soy issue. Some ladies who are pregnant get a little bit soy sensitive um, as well, but the, the, the phytoestrogens from soy are really good. So unless you have been told by your doctor not to consume soy, unless you know that you're a very high estrogen person right now, um, how do you know that? Your doctor will tell you, then you would avoid soy. Then your alternatives are pea and hemp, Pea, hemp, and what's the other one? Rice, okay? So a lot of other proteins might be made up with that. You'll find things like Sun Warrior is an option, um, a few others. Sun Warrior, in my opinion, is the only other one I would possibly touch. The thing about Sun Warrior is that it doesn't taste great. I tried, I mean, I really tried because it's called Sun Warrior and my brand is Warrior Goddess Kettlebell Training and I thought, that's a match made in heaven. Branding amazingness and I even went so far as to try to contact them and I tried to consume it for a certain amount of time and I just couldn't. So the best protein powders, ladies, are the ones you're actually gonna drink, okay? That is, that's the definition. Uh, Sun Warrior is a good one. The natural one isn't too bad. You can get it unflavored. You could potentially go for that. Uh, what I like about Sun Warrior is that it is, now it's pea and hemp and rice I think are the main sources of of the protein and they're quite high protein I want to say like 20 25 grams and they also have the full amino acid profile too which are amino acids are the things do I have some here well I have uh, this is the pre-workout from protein marks but I also advocate that you take um, amino acids if you're somebody working out with weights like my ladies do with kettlebells but amino acids uh, are a good thing to have 
The only thing about the pea and the rice and the hemp is that some people, especially like me with my little sensitive constitution, can find it quite difficult to digest. Too many legumes. So it comes down to this. Find your protein powder that works for you, that tastes good, that you're actually going to consume, and pick that. That's as simple as I can tell you because it is very individual. I've always said that you're an individual little snowflake. You're as powerful as an avalanche, but you need to find your own groove and what works for your body. These are the two products that work for me and my body. I can 100% stand behind um, the choice of soy over those other uh, options. If your body works with those other options and you like that, then go ahead and create that. I'll go ahead and consume those. That is fine. Do we have any other questions of the ladies that are on? I'd love to hear. Um, other than that, then the next big bit is so your equipment, your protein, and the third and final and most important part, other than the protein, because it's a protein smoothie, is what the heck you're gonna mix it with. So you need a non-dairy milk. Some people prefer like a coconut milk. Some people prefer a soy milk. Some people prefer almond. Oat is a great alternative as well. Uh, try to go for unsweetened because you don't need any more sugar, especially when you're going to be adding bits and pieces to it to taste good. You're also going to want to go and invest in a really good quality peanut butter. I have a couple here. Tesco do a great brand. Look at this. Okay, this one here from Tesco, £1.50. And all it's got in it is peanuts. That's what you're looking for on the back of, when you look for your, you just look for the peanut, okay? As you know, I'm a great fan of Pippa Nut. Um, they used to sponsor me with some wonderful stuff. Um, and again, you wanna look on the back. This one just says almonds and sea salt. That's all you want in there. These little sachet packs are great on the go. There's, your, there's, there's lunch there. Like, look at that, just lunch there. And you can mix that up with water. Um, that's the nut butters. Then you're gonna to wanna to figure out what other things you wanna put in. I recommend Sainsbury's I've heard is really good. I don't shop in Sainsbury's. But Sainsbury's I've heard is really good for um, uh, smoothie packs. You can get really good smoothie packs that are about two quid. You wanna try to always get the ones that have more vegetables in and you wanna to try to stay away from sweet or sh more sugary fruit if you can, okay? So try to avoid the strawberry banana one. It's okay to have that now and again, and if that's your, is that the only way that you're gonna take this thing, then friggin' get the strawberry and banana. But I would rather you go for the spinach and the, the, the kiwi and the mango, which I had today from Tesco, or the one that has some sort of kale or something in it and a mixture. Um, the the sugar, more sugary fruits are the ones that you probably like the best. Bananas, strawberries, um, Mango's actually quite sugary. Kiwi's not too bad. Berries are your friend. Go and buy some dark cherries frozen. Amazing in a chocolate smoothie. Amazing. I made the Black Forest Gatto one there the other day. Recipe is in the group. Um, you can get blueberries frozen too, which are amazing, uh, and you can just freeze them. Or you can do something really amazing and make up your own little smoothie bags. I was gonna do a video on that, I might actually do that towards the end of the week, where you buy your spinach yourself or your kale, you get a banana, you get some berries, and you get your little freezer bags, and you put one handful of spinach in, you know, this much banana, no much more than that banana, handful of berries, close it, stick it in the freezer. Right, day one, day two, day three, on each of the bags, and then then you can mix up different things. So some days you could have spinach, some days you could have whatever. What's really good about that is then you don't waste anything. It gets completely frozen. You'll actually save money than making up your own smoothie bags, but also it means that you can write on them and you can put the date, you can say which day you're gonna do it on, whatever works for you, and you can also work on portion control. But that one also saves you a bucket of money. It means you're not throwing stuff out, which is great. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you have any more questions about the contents of smoothies, about protein, about your equipment, about anything, go ahead and comment below. I will get, um, I will get back to you. Um, we are starting for reels on Monday, five days in a row. I can't wait for you to start sharing your, your proovies. That's what it's gonna be all about, is share your morning proovie in here. You're gonna be taking pics. You're gonna be uploading them. We're gonna to try to outdo each other. We're gonna say who's got the nicest proovie. Um, and we'll maybe even vote the best Prudy of the day. I might do a best Prudy of the day award and we'll see how we go from there. But I look forward to connecting with you all soon. If you do have any questions about any of this, comment in this group. I'm here to support you and help you. That's what it's all about. This is the best way for me to help you kickstart your uh, weight loss and body shape change goals and create some seriously good habits that will serve you from now to forever. So enjoy and I look forward to connecting with you all soon. Peace out.